Greetings, friends. This is Manning as also the Rise Beverage Company for another edition of Life by the Drop, where I pair some of my favorite drinks, some of my favorite music on my back porch. And today we are pairing Soto Junmai Sake, and we're pairing that with Jose Gonzalez live in Europe, teardrops performed with the strain theory. So our style of sake today is called Junmai, which translates to pure rice. Um, there is another style of sake called Honjozo, and Honjozo, right before filtration, they're adding a little bit of distilled alcohol uh, to the sake. They're not doing that to fortify it, they're not doing it to make it boozy. Um, they are doing it because alcohol is more soluble than water, and so it'll bring out and lift out some of the aromas because our style of sake is um, pretty floral and, and, and forward aromatically in the stew mind, we don't necessarily have to do that. So our sake is coming from Niigata, Japan. We're in the northwest of Japan, right off the Sea of Japan, and it's a pretty mountainous area. As a result, we get a lot of snow, about six to sometimes ten feet of snow every single year. Because of this, we have real fresh, clean, pure water. Now, before we talk about the pairing of sake and the music, let's talk a little bit about food. Uh, a lot of people are apprehensive, even those people that love sake are apprehensive of buying sake because they think, first of all, if I get a big bottle and I don't drink a lot of it, this is a 720 milliliter, um, it's going to go bad. Well, you have about a month. It doesn't oxidize the way wine does, it doesn't matterize, it doesn't turn to vinegar. Um, and after about a month and a half, it's still going to be perfectly fine. It's just not going to be as fresh. Those um, more delicate aromas are going to fade away and you'll get more umami. But you still have a good amount of time to drink this. And what I do when I'm cooking, I might add a little bit of over sake to whatever it is if I'm deglazing a pan. If I'm making something with uh, tomato sauce and I want to add a little more structure instead of adding wine, which is adding more acid, I'll add a touch of sake, which is going to add more nuance to it. Um, but sake, you know, pairs with a, with a variety of foods. They eat more than sushi in sashimi in Japan. They eat food that's super salty, that's sweet, that's savory. Uh, sake works with everything. Um, because we're not limited to tannic structure or acidity in, in pairing our uh, beverage with our food, you know, we're free to, to pair with what we want. Um, a Junmai style sake paired with a mushroom pizza is super peanut butter and jelly. Really, really awesome. Now, why are we pairing this specific song with this specific sake? Um, well, for me, first of all, there is a resistivity to Junmai style sake, although this one is really elegant. And that is the finger-picking style of Jose Gonzalez and his, his very delicate voice. Um, the nuance of the sake, well, that's definitely the strings here in the orchestration. And to me, it just is such a beautiful, beautiful pairing. Now, how are we drinking this? Uh, I don't have an ochoco with me here. I do have some, but I'm just going to pop this can and drink right from there. You can also drink it out of the whiskey glass, the wine glass, which is perfectly fine. And so does this. Well, I want to thank you for the time. I want to thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the music. Enjoy the sake. Um, keep on drinking. Keep on listening. Come by.